couldn't sell them all. No desire to see the Steelers and play the Panthers, none at all. And so the Panthers fans snapped up the remaining tickets and they won the game 8-0. I thought that game never biggest, happened. <laughs> the biggest disappointment for me is that the Steelers fans didn't buy all the tickets because then the game wasn't webcast and if we'd not put out the highlights, we'd have lost that game 8-0, but no Panther fan would ever have been able to see it. Yeah. Unfortunately, a few hundred did. Yeah. So these big games, the sort of games we're sort of pitching, I think, in this hypothetical. Yeah. And there isn't great demand for them, they... even at regular prices. But the hypothetical... So I think even the slightest price rise wipes out the majority of fans. We're only talking here about removing a couple of sort of really crazy, too much spare money individuals. Yeah, but I think... You can take most fans out with a small price rise. I think you can. I think you can do that. I mean, there's plenty of examples of that in baseball, you know, where they're playing to like nearly empty stadiums, etc., etc. But it's never empty. (laughs) And I still think if you'd have charged a lot of money for those games. Yes, you would have wiped out 99.9% of the fan base. But you've still got that point one, and I think that point one would go to some silly levels. So that's it for another episode of Hockey Hypothetical. Apologies for the sound issue. We're recording over the phone this week. We're hoping to be back together in the future for our next episodes. If you've got some comments that you'd like us to talk through during those episodes, then hit us up on social media or alternatively, send us your own hockey hypotheticals for us to discuss in the future. But on behalf of Stephen Dowson, this is Jonathan Fernley saying goodbye.